Hi guys, I Tech Effects here with a hot tutorial. Hot actually, because you know, fireballs, they can get pretty hot. Don't try that. Don't see how hot it is actually. Okay, what we're going to be creating today is the Mario Fireball. Okay, that gives you a general idea of what we're going to be doing today. Okay, uh, this is from my old channel, by the way. Just so you know. Okay, now you're going to take your footage, drag it into this little button right here for new composition, or if you already have one open, just drag it into there. And now, all it is is just, uh, I'd show you if my computer wasn't so slow. It's just me running, throwing some fireball, but there's no fireball yet. And then I just keep running, just to give it, like, a little Mario effect. You know, Mario's always running. He's up. He's always on the move. And now just uh, take out anything you don't want by splitting the layer, by doing that, edit, split layer, or just doing Control shift d But for some reason, Control shift d is not working for me. No idea why. Oh, well. That works, too. Now just delete anything you don't want. Okay. I'll have it start there. So edit, split layer. Delete the layer you don't want. And go to the beginning. Sorry if I'm rushing this, but I'll try to slow it down for you guys. So, now that we have our footage there, let's just, first let's just uh, make this a bit smaller so it's easier. Hit N on your keyboard. Right click in the white little area right here. Trim comp to work area. It deletes anything outside of your time. Theme of our slider thing. Okay, now what you're going to do is click Layer, New, Solid. Okay, wait for that. Make it comp size and white will work fine. Now take uh, this little circle tool. Click on it, hold it down until you get these options. Now click Ellipse Tool. And just make a circle, any size, it doesn't matter right now. And then let's take the pen tool and do add vertex. And just click between each vertex. So now you have eight vertexes instead of four. And then hit V to get your little pointer back or just click right here doesn't matter and then um, make sure you're on the white solid and now just take this little point right here drag it up but let me uh, if that happens just convert it with the vertex tool to a flat oh wait actually don't do any of that actually you're gonna want to convert all of these first so just click each of them with the convert vertex tool the little weird triangle shape convert them all almost forgot about that that would have been bad okay now you have a little octagonal shape and get back to your pen or your little pointer hand and now you're gonna create the actual shape inside the fireball Okay, so now you're going to take this point, just drag it straight up. Grab this point and drag it straight down. And now just uh, make it so it kind of looks uh, like so. That looks good for now. Now go back to this little triangle tool and click on all the little circles or squares besides the points or else you have a rounded weird shape which you don't want and then uh, get back your pointer thingy and drag these till you get something like that and then you can go in and change anything you want make it look like a Mario little looking thingy That's good for now. Okay, 
and now we're going to add a glow to this so go to effect right click it stylize and glow it's easy if you actually just double click on this so you have it right there it's much easier to see and now make sure you change the glow colors to A and B colors and then color A make it a yellowish color uh, it's not yellow it's like a beigey thing mustard and then uh, make color B a red and now uh, let's take the glow radius up take the intensity a bit up keep the radius going and just make it to look somewhat like a fireball maybe increase the threshold to maybe uh, 80 percent and just do it till you get something that you like okay that is okay with me right now and now go to your white solid click the mask and go feather it out uh, say five pixels okay that looks good and then now we're gonna add another effect so right click blur and sharpen fast blur change the blurriness to about five just so it looks a bit more shaded.